Hello, I'm back with another episode of the So Show Youth Only Save. Um, where you left us off last, we finished the season and we managed to finish, I think it was six in the league. So we got European football for the first time in the club, I think. I could be wrong on that one, but um, best finish they probably had in the league as well. So yeah, so a really good season overall. We were, we were flirting with top four for most of the season, but then towards the end, we kind of just faltered a little bit, but... The important thing is we managed to get European football for the club, which will help the finances and um, build the reputation for the club even better. So the facilities are all maxed out, um, so we can't do anything else with that. The coaching academy is at the best it's possible. Um, we did get an inbox item to say that the we are moving to a new stadium. So we've got a new stadium with a starting capacity of 27,000, which is 7,000 more than our current stadium. So that's good. And obviously, we've got scope to then expand in time. So that's exciting news for the club. Um, and I, I think that's about it, really. I can't think of anything else to talk about. So I've forwarded it through pre-season. There's not been anybody... I don't think there's been any sales, actually, to be honest. There wasn't really any offers for our players. So we're just going to crack on and hope, that, hope for the best, really. So I'll be back in a sec with the second game of the season because I accidentally holiday too far... And we played the first game, but I'll show you about that in a sec. Right, we're back. Um, like I said, we played the first game of the season against Monaco as I went too far forward. Um, we will show you... I'll just watch... I'll put this on and we can just watch it, basically. We'll just see how it goes, but yeah. We had a man sent off near the end as well, but we managed to get the draw. So we, we got the lead with a penalty from Kofi. And then Monaco equalised with a header from a nice cross by Sessignon. Lukovic with the header. And then Monaco took the lead. Uh, crossed to Kamara. Kamara with the volley. Beautiful goal. So they were winning 2-1. And then we equalised in a second. Uh, did up with a beautiful pass to Kofi, picked to the defence apart, good finish by Kofi, and then Monaco managed to get the lead back with a nice shot by Adic, Ad Adic, Adic sorry. Um, we managed to, there we go, Angeli with a beautiful shot, absolute banger of a shot. They had a penalty, they scored to make it 4-3. And then we equalise here with Didot. Beautiful finish by him. Um, Didot with a 9.2 rating from that match. So that just tells you everything you need to know. Yeah, two assists and a goal. So he definitely was the standout player, which is good because last season he was kind of faulting a little bit. We gave a debut to this man here, Patrick Gastrin. I have no idea why, but we did. I don't know what the assistant manager was doing. Maybe we didn't have the... Players available. Um, let me just check the transfers, actually, if we did. I don't think we sold anybody, but I'll have a look. Yeah, we didn't really make any money. Uh, we got rid of Monin because he just wasn't good enough. Same with Valmi and Anani as well. We sent a few players on loan. And then I just quickly check towards the end of last season as well, see if there's anything we missed here. So, yeah, Isanga went to Birmingham. Um... Obviously, we already know about Diagne, but he's played one game internationally. He hasn't played for Birmingham yet. So, yeah. So, we're playing PSG next. So, that's the first proper game of the episode. Again, I apologise for going too far forward. That probably would have been a really good game to watch as a neutral for you lot. Um, hopefully, the highlights was enough for you. Right, Gastrin is playing again, apparently. So, maybe he's highly rated on here. I mean, he has got up to five-star potential. He's, you know, so he's 17 years old. He fits the what we need at the club, I think. So, yeah, let's just crack on. I'm just going to have a quick look. Patricio's in for uh, Pinto. But, yeah, other than that, it's pretty much a straightforward team. I would have sold players if I had decent offers for him. We had a bit of interest here and there, but no, no, no offers, per se. So, I don't really... See that as a bad thing. Our finances are pretty good. I think we've got like 22 million in the bank. Um, we're only spending about 150k a week in wages. Our wage budget is like 550k because 
every time I make money I just chuck it in the wage budget so we are doing well financially so we don't really need to sell players if, unless they want I'll only sell them if they want to leave Hopefully we can get uh, an early win here against PSG because obviously they are going to be the favourites for the title this year. I think it's going to take me about five or six seasons to be able to topple them. There you go, 1-0. They're just too bloody strong on this game. Right, 1-0 to PSG. Not the best starts of the season. A draw and a loss by the looks of it. But we are we did play Monaco and PSG back at, uh, one after the other. So at least we've got the hard games out of the way for now. 2-0 Mbappe. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna beat I don't think we're gonna beat PSG today. Right, berate the players. Hopefully that'll do something. Maybe not. 3-0. It's becoming a bloodbath here. 23 minutes gone. PSG's already winning 3-0. Not good. Maybe we need to be a bit more cautious in our approach now. PSG just seem to be... Oh, there you go. That's more like it, lads. That's what we want to see. There we go. Build it slowly. Keep possession. Oh, come on, ref. That was a foul. How was that not a foul? Absolutely stopped him from moving then. Oh, that's disappointing. Right, okay. PSG look like they're going to score again here. There we go. Diego Sosa, which I think, I think I assume is a new gen, who will probably be the next Mbappe. Let's have a look at him. Yep. Oh my days. 240. He's valued at 240 to 300 million. Who the hell did they sign him from? They signed him. So that's a hell of a signing by Atletico Madrid. They signed him on a free transfer and then they sold him for 186 million. Absolute gold machine. Let's have a look at him. Finishing 18, heading 18, technique 16, work rate 16, decisions 16, stamina 16. He's just literally the new, the new. he's got a fickle personality though, but he's literally the new Messi, and he, actually, does it say? It might say. Um, oh, balls. Okay, I'll have a look in a sec. Good tackle by LeBron. Doesn't lead to anything because Mbappe's got the ball. I think I'm going to have to go very defensive now. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. He's a he's an abs I think he's the the best new gen I've ever seen. Absolute beast. Right, I don't want happiness, but the mouse wouldn't let me move down. Um, elite striker. No, so there's no like he's not the there's no media attention on him or anything like that. History, landmarks, milestones. Let's have a look. Uh, awards. I'm just seeing if he was in the new gen list. No. Anyway, absolute beast of a player. So basically when Mbappe goes, it don't make no difference because they got this guy here. And nobody's going to buy him for that. He's like 300 million. They, nobody can afford him. So that's great, isn't it? We've got that to look forward to. Um, we are lacking in numbers on the bench. We really haven't got anybody to put on for him, so... Um... Throwing a few of these youngsters in. I feel sorry for them at the moment. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to go the opposite way. I'm very attacking. We've got nothing to lose. Oh, well. 5 nil now. Any predictions? I reckon 10 nil By the end of the game, maybe.
Hey, we got a consolation goal. There you go, Angeli. That's more like it. 5-1, identical to the score I got when I went and watched Cadbury Athletic the other day, which is quite funny. Right, is it going to be 6-1 to PSG? Every time they have a shot, it goes in, so it wouldn't surprise me. Bang, in. No? Oh, bloody hell. Makes a change. We are getting humbled by PSG here. Since we changed the very attacking, though, we've managed to... Uh, Score and obviously and get a few more shots in. Before that, I think we only had like three or four shots in the whole game. So, oh, he's getting sent off. Oh, we've managed to injure Mbappe though, so that's good. That helps the rest of the French league. All right, let's have a look and see how long Mbappe's injured for. Um, history, injuries. Oh, he only got a bruised knee. Boo. Right, I'll just holiday here. Won't take too long to do that. Uh, thank you to anybody that watched the last episode. I do appreciate it. Hope you're still all enjoying the series. I'm having fun with it, so... Hopefully you lot are as well watching it. Right. Origi's gone on loan. Oh yeah, bloody Balok or whatever his name is. He played like 15, 20 games for me last season. Um, Kicked off because I rejected a loan offer for him. He wanted to go on loan. I'm like, you played like 20 games for the first team last season. He was still moaning, so I sent him on loan. Not happy about it, but it stops him moaning. Can always recall him, I think. Hopefully, right. We've got Lorient now. This is a game that we need to win. Um, I think it's pretty much unchanged team by looks of it. Pinto's back in for Patricio, but other than that, basically the same team. Gastron getting a uh, bit of a run out, and maybe he'll become a new superstar for us. We definitely need to win this game. Nothing so far. No highlights. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Anyway, finally, first highlight. Unfortunately, it's going to Lorient. Mangello with the cross. Good save by the goalie. Right, Pinto. Come on, I've got high hopes for this season. I don't want us to start faltering. Right, did I? Ooh, did up. Nearly. Throw into us. Angeli gives it to Gastrin. Kofi passes it across the Bastion. Oh, I've hit the post again. How many times have we want to hit the post? Twice already. We've had eight shots, four on target. 1.27 xg 10 shots now 4 on target 12 shots 5 on target we are just banging in these shots at the moment and I'll guarantee that Lorient will score the first goal you watch there you go oh. good clearance they've still got the ball though good defensive play right let's go Angeli get out of the way ref bloody Wally Mugin did up one. Yes! Went for the left post instead of the right. 1 0, just before half time. Good time to score. Did up, look at him, celebrating in front of the goalie. Quite funny. I'll leave the team shouts for now. So, no international football for the FM25 and no shouts either. So, that game is already inferior as far as I'm concerned. I guarantee all the new features will be just aesthetic looking, pleasing ones like. Small emphasis on press conferences and oh, oh Jesus Christ stuff that nobody actually wants in the game. So when like the features that people want, they don't seem to do, and then the features that we don't want, they seem to put in there. I'm really, I'm really not happy with Cy Games, Miles and Zager at the moment. It's, it's really putting a bad taste in my mouth about them. 
because I can't imagine to me that FM25 is going to be a better experience than FM24 simply because I like playing as international managers. So it's a bit bittersweet at the moment. And I think other people probably agree with me to a point. Not everybody wants to play international manager. I know that. Like I said, 5.6% of the fans played that. Oh, uh, played as an international manager. But I don't know whether that means only as an international manager. Did they look into how many people played as club and international manager at the same time? Not that that's realistic much in real life. I think I in my history in my life I think I've only ever known that to happen once when Kevin Keegan was Fulham manager and England manager towards just for the rest of that season. But that's it. I don't think there's ever been another time when that's happened in real life. Let me know in the comments section if if that's not true. If I've got that wrong, let me know if there's any other times where somebody's been a club and international manager at the same time. But I don't think it happens. Come on, let's keep let's keep this win going. Look at that, two point nine xg, twenty three shots, twenty four shots, nine on target. We should have scored three goals, not bloody one. Anyway, we still we still won, so that's all that matters to me. Wins a win. Right, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. Right, we're back for the next game. Just want to show you the finances. So, like I said, twenty million in there. The projection is. Um, minus nine but i think that'll be i don't think that's going to be true by the end of it i think we'll be all right um and then oh, for god's sake go away stupid mouse um and then we're we've got a six hundred and twenty eight thousand pounds a week wage budget we're only spending 214 so that means any youngsters that we want to keep we can keep because we can offer we can probably match that what they're going to be offered at other clubs. So if we wanted to go down that route, we can. But obviously, we've got to think about the long-term finances as well. So if I get an insanely good offer for players, I will sell them. For instance, Didot, as much as I... Um, I don't know well, I'm indifferent about Didot. Sometimes he plays well, sometimes he don't. But any of these players here that I can get really good money for, I will sell. The only players I don't want to sell is Bastion and also Kofi. And probably pop out as well um, because they've been there from the start and I kind of want them to be there towards the end as well so you know the rest not too bothered about right then so we've got Strasbourg now Dumas is playing up front because Kofi's injured and um, we've got Guggenard in defence because we've got injury to our other centre back and I can't remember who that is now um, fullbacks are the same Paisley's in the team Thierry and Mugen are the same Angeli Gastrin is the same now as well, did up. So, yeah, a couple of changes, but nothing major. Um, let's see what Dumas can do up front. If he doesn't do particularly well, I'll swap him and Angeli over and put Angeli up front. Because I think Angeli would actually be a decent striker, to be honest. First highlight is going to us by the looks of it. Pinto trying to, well, he was trying to, I thought he was going to try and cross it in, but he passes it to Gastrin. Gastrin. Gives it back to Pinto. Pinto initially loses the ball but gets it back. Gastrin. Duma. Oh no, Didot. I thought that was Duma. Then Didot scores. 1 0. Nice to see we're getting back on track after the, the loss against PSG. Early, da early days, only four minutes played. Plenty of time for um, Strasbourg to get back in the game. That was a good ball to Fernandez. Good defending there by our players. Did up with the ball now. Gives it to Thierry over the top. Still keep possession of it. Did up. Oh. Over the top to Angeli. I think I might be offside. Ah, that's right. Missed it anyway. Throw in. Oh. Still one nil. Uh, right corner to Strasbourg. Floats it up, headed out. Oh, one one. I knew that was going to go in as soon as that went to it. It went in there. Oh well. Right one one. Still got plenty of time for us to get. Um, Hold of the game again. We have been the better team. Five shots, three on target. Angeli. 
There we go. That was a beautiful, beautiful corner by him. Didot. Second goal of the game, I think. Yeah. He's been, him and Angeli are becoming really, really good players. It wouldn't surprise me if we get really good money for them too when we if we do ever sell them. I don't ever want. I, hopefully, I don't want to sell them to PSG. I won't sell them to PSG if um if I can help it. I don't want to strengthen my rivals. Mugen. Good ball to Angeli. Angeli. Can he pick out the pass? He can. Dumas, there you go. Dumas knows how to score. Great bit of play there by them two. Right, I think that's pretty much game over in this game. We will take off players when they get tired, and I think that's it. Everybody's performing okay. Right, Bastian needs to come off. Uh, Angeli can come off. Uh, we'll put you on. Didot, we'll put you on. And then Thierry, take you off and we'll put Bordon off. So, quadruple substitution now. Get some fresh legs on, see if they can impress me. No pressure on them, we're winning 3 1. Gastrin, cross the Pinto. Oh, no, gets it back, Pinto. Gastrian, oh, nearly scored his first goal for the club. Good header by Zerbo. Called on. Zerbo keeps the ball. Beautiful pass. Go on, Gastrin. Yes, Gastrin with his first goal of the season. Good assist by Zerbo. This could be a start of a beautiful career for this man, Gastrin. Zerbo also impressing me in that attacking midfield position. Right, we've got one more highlight here. Dumas with the free kick. Usually it's Angeli. Good save by the goalie. I think in that position, that free kick, I think if Angeli was taking it, he would have probably scored. Gugnard with the corner. Straight to the goalkeeper's hands. And I think that's it, everybody. So, good little victory. We're now up to fourth in the league. We have Paris FC as the last game of the episode. Just praise him. I'll be back in a sec. Right, I'm back. Um... We have actually, we are actually playing the Europa League. I thought it would be the Europa Conference, but we've actually managed to get into the Europa League. So I'm not complaining. It's a, it's a slightly better competition than the Europa Conference. Um, these are our fixtures. We've got Rosenberg, Udinese, Anderlecht, Olympiakos. I'm not going to pronounce that name. Uh, Copenhagen, Braga, and Dynamo, Zagreb. So some, I would say some winnable games, but some tough games as well. But we'll see how we progress. Our finances have changed. Obviously, we got a couple of million for being in the group stage of the Europa League. But then if you look at the balance, obviously, earlier on in the episode, I showed you that we were going to be minus, whereas this time we're going to be slightly up and we're down like 21 million in the bank by the end of uh, that season. So slightly better. And I reckon, obviously, the, the better we do in the Europa League, the more money we'll make in prize money. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But um, also, we've had Liverpool's... Um, do you remember Bobby Abdu? Well, Liverpool look like they're going to sign him. I'll uh, I'll show you that in a second after this game. Actually, I'll show you now. Um, yeah, so they've had, they've they've offered a, an offer. They've had an offer accepted, I think. Offer made. Sorry, um, it doesn't really affect us because we already cashed out the transfer clause. I think we got a couple of million for the transfer clause, which is basically what we would have got if we went anyway. Because we sold for 12, he's going for 16. So we'd have got 30% of 4 million. So we actually did better out of the deal than we would have if we just left it. So, yeah. There we go. Right. Last game of the episode. Let's 
see if we can end this episode on a uh, on a good note. If we win this game, we could be potentially second. But Paris FC are a tough team to play against. We've struggled against them before, I think. Bastian loses the ball. We get it back though. Mugen. Oh no, no, get it back. Yep. Thierry, beautiful ball to Didot. Didot. That's a lovely, lovely goal. Dumas on his second goal of the season. It could be like a natural successor to Kofi when Kofi decides to retire. Obviously, Kofi's still the main man here, but Dumas is a very good understudy and he can also play um, in the attacking midfield positions as well, just behind the striker or maybe on the wing occasionally. So he's very versatile. Seems to do well whenever he plays. Bastian loses the ball. 1-0 to us. <laughs> that was a bit of a cluster, wasn't it? Right, we got it with our goalie, playing out from defence. Popal takes his time, boots it out. Goes straight to Didot. Didot controls it perfectly. Mugen. Oh, that's a lovely... Over oh, look at that. Get in. Gastrin with his second goal of the season. I thought VAR would have had a... A look into that, but they didn't. Very good, lads. 2-0. Currently third in the league now. Uh, Set NCN have a game ahead of us, and so do Marseille. So it might we might not be there by the end of the fixtures. I wish all the fixtures were played at the same time. It does it does my head in. But yeah, two 0 up. Before the first half ends is pretty good. Good save by the goalie. Sorry about that. Right. Let's end, up, end the first half. kind of relax a bit in the second half so I, so I, I'm tempted I've never done it oh, well done. oh no Angeli potential foot injury that's not good right Zervo can go in there um, no pressure right I haven't done that before I don't think so well, this might work out well or not Didot's injured as well so Cordo, uh, Cardon's on Cardon is on Corner to us, Cardon. I'm hoping Cardon and Zerbo can uh, oof, fill the gap when we do get Didot and Angeli injured. Thierry, Mugen. Lebrun now. Across to Pinto, back to Lebrun. Lebrun gives it to Paisley. Paisley bit of interest there, passes it beautifully to Bastion. Bastion with the shot, fortunately it wasn't. Oh, fortunately it wasn't um, good enough for the to, to. Wasn't good enough to go in, basically. Sorry, sometimes I get stuck in what to say. Right, let's just praise him again. Popal is having to come off for some bloody reason. Uh oh. Oh, that was lucky. I have no idea why Popal had to come off. But a um, bit of game time for our backup goalkeeper, Diego Villa, who's pretty good on his own anyway. Two nil, lovely jubbly. Angeli's out for two or three weeks. Nothing about Didot, so that's good. At least he's not injured. Right then, on that note, I'm going to call it a day for this episode, and then uh, we'll be back next week with another one. Hope you're enjoying the progress so far. This season, I'll uh, I'm hoping to either win a, 
like the the French Cup or try and do as well as possible in the league. Maybe get a top four position this year. I always want to do better every season. So hopefully we can. Um, thank you as always for following. Give us a subscribe if you haven't already. Comment on the video. Let me know who your favourite Socho player is. Uh, just let me know in general if you're enjoying the series or not. And I'll be back soon. All the best.